In this lesson, we're going to look at an application problem where the skills we learned in the previous uh, videos uh, should help us. It says a waiter receives a tip from a family he served of $11. If the bill was $64.70, what was his tip as a percent of the bill? Round to the nearest percent. So uh, basically, you know, he knows he gets $11, but he might wonder what percentage that is. Um, maybe to know what they thought of his service, right? Because generally accepted that a good tip, a tip for good service, uh, would be between 15 and 20 percent. So we might want to see where he stands. So to kind of simplify things here and to try to write this problem kind of in the form of the problems we had in our previous videos, we might say that the question he's really trying to ask is uh, 11 is what percent of 64.70, right? So to kind of boil it down to this type of a statement, that's really the question that's being asked. And the nice thing is if we can get it into this form here, then we can easily get it into our percent equation form because we know what these words is and of mean. Right, so we can say 11 is means equals. What percent means, well, I don't know, so I'll write it as an unknown. Of means times. And then, of course, 64, 70. I can drop that zero to make things a little bit easier. I'll call it 64.7. So to clean this up a little bit, we have 11 equals 64.7 times x. And, of course, we know that to get x by itself, we will divide by the coefficient in front of the x. And that will isolate it. So x is equal to the quotient of these numbers. So we need to actually do that division. So over here, we'll say 11 divided by 64.7. And of course, we can't divide by a decimal. so Go ahead and move the decimal one to the right in 64.7, but that means we better move it one to the right in 11 as well. So what we have here is 110 divided by 647. Of course, 647 does not go into 110, so we'll put a zero um, above the zero in 110. We'll add a decimal point, add a zero, and 647 goes into 1100 just one time. Okay, so we'll do our subtraction here and I need to do a little bit of borrowing, so I'm gonna use a different color. All right, so of course I want this to be a 10. There's nothing to borrow from here, so um, I'll go ahead and Make this just a nine, and then that's of course a zero. Um, and then borrow to make that actually a 10. So 10 minus seven is three. Minus seven is three, nine minus four is five, 10 minus six is four, so we have 453. We'll add a zero, drop it down. So 647 goes into 4,530. Um, about seven times, so um, I need to do a little guessing and checking there to get that right, but seven times four is 28, plus four is 32, and then 42 plus three is 45. So we have just a remainder of one there, so it just barely fits. And so uh, we want to round to the nearest percent, it says, and so we understand that this decimal will need to move two to the right, so we're now at that percent, so we need to go one more just to know whether that seven stays a seven or rounds up, but 647 doesn't even go into 10, so we'd put a zero here. So what we know is when we're going to the nearest uh, percent, we're gonna end up with just 17%. So X is 0 0.17, oops, 0 0.17, but of course we give the answer as a percent, so 17%. So this waiter got a tip that's between 15 and 20 percent, so um, he can assume that they were happy with his service.